Every generation has its unforgettable winter. For many of us, that would be the great deep freeze of 1976 and 77. Yeah, in this picture you can see people ice skating on the Chesapeake Bay. Well, for folks before us, nothing would ever compare to the winter of 1936. The uh, freezing temperatures, the ice, the snow, it all reached a crescendo just about this time of year, early February, and the whole country was worried about the people trapped on Smith and Tangier Island. So you know, Jim Duffy, author of Secrets of the Eastern Shore, here to tell us about the tragedies and triumphs that happened in those dangerous days. Good to see you, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, Thanks for having me. Okay, so set the scene for us. How much ice was there really? It was a whole load of ice. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it started freezing, you know, right around Christmas time. By the time we got to here, it had been more than two weeks since a boat was able to get out to Tangier mm. or Smith Island oh my. because of all the ice. Now, there were some um, knowledgeable and brave watermen who made it out there anyway by walking between Chris Field and Tangier Island. So wow. 10 miles they would make that. So they did get some reports back from the people during this two-week window. Okay. And uh, then those reports got a little bit dire about running out of food. The, co the Coast Guard sends out two icebreakers. Right. They both get caught in the ice and they can't make it to The icebreakers did? Oh my goodness. And, and then the, the superintendent of, of Maryland State Police, a, a guy by the name of Gary, Enoch Gary, organizes a volunteer group of people to do that walk that I mentioned that some right. watermen had yeah. done. And they set out, they have two sleighs with a thousand pounds of food and supplies on each sleigh. Okay. And their idea is to drag them out as far as they can on the ice and then there's open water. And one of those Coast Guard boats is going to be sitting there. They're going to load it up. The Coast Guard boat's going to take them across the open water to more ice and then they're going to walk, walk the rest of the way, way okay. to out. They leave a little bit too late in the day. It starts to snow. It turns into a blizzard. No. Yeah. They have zero visibility. They do have a compass. They're trying to listen to the horns on that Coast Guard thing so they know where they're going. Um, and then the, the superintendent of police, Gary, he falls in once. He falls in twice. One of the volunteers is Wilbert Hunter, a state policeman. And he's helping Gary out. Um, and at this point, when things are starting to go bad, eight people, eight of the volunteers bail and go back to Crisfield. Oh, no. So there's seven people left. And then Sergeant Hunter falls in once and falls in twice um, and they decide to split up again because Sergeant Hunter gets too tired to go on. His, the, the last words that he ever said um, were, I am very tired but I feel like I should keep going. Those were the last words that he would say. So that was um, a tragedy right there? That was the tragedy right there. So Sergeant Hunter died on the ice. Rest in peace, Sergeant Hunter. Yeah. But yeah. What about Thanks for trying. Right? What about the people on the island? Yeah. People on the island. So yes, the weather, the weather clears. A uh, blimp comes and drops a bunch of food. We get to the happy part of the story now. Blimp comes and drops a bunch of food. An airplane pilot made the first ever landing on ice out on the Chesapeake Bay, and he delivered food. And the best one is that the U.S. Army uh, sent a couple of bombers, and they dropped food on the island. And there's a wonderful quote um, from one of the islanders who says that he never imagined in life that he would want to look up and see a bomber bay door open and be bombed with beans and it would make him so happy to be bombed with beans. It's not something you come up with every day. Beans. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So they were, everybody's good. Smith everybody's and Tangier, good. they're all good. Nobody died. Good. Like that. Happy ending. And they happy got ending. bombed with beans. Yep. Jim Duffy, Secrets of the Eastern Shore, thank you so much. You bet. But we're not quite done <laughs> when we get back with you. No, no, stay, 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 stay there. Um, in honor of Valentine's Day, we're going to have a little heart to heart with Jim and his lovely bride. <laughs> Next on Del Marble Life, a throwback Thursday love story. Stick around, Del Marble Life will be right back. Did you know meet cute is a movie term? It refers to humorous or interesting situations in which two people meet that leads to them develop making, developing a romantic relationship with each other. Had no idea, but in our humble opinion, nothing beats real life, especially <laughs> when the couple is who we have with us this afternoon in Historic Studio D. You already know Jim Duffy, and it's been a while, <laughs> but you may remember his wife, Jill <laughs> Jasuda. 
Welcome. Thanks for coming. It's good to have you in We've here. been trying to get you back in here for a while. It's a pleasure <laughs> to be here. She's mine. You can't <laughs> have her. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> First question, how'd you two meet? It starts boring, but then it gets interesting. Okay. We met at a workplace when we were both living in Baltimore. And while we are at this workplace, we, you know, became friends and I wanted to be more than friends. And I asked her out and she said, No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Absolutely not. She I said, I don't date people I work with. And he was my boss at the time. <gasps> oh. And I said, Nope. No way. And then two then months. Then I quit. Then I quit. I quit the job. I moved on to another job. We stayed friends. We get together now and again. And then? Then I asked him out. <laughs> <laughs> A woman of her word. And uh -huh. he, obviously, you said yes. I said yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dated for a while? Long, long. <laughs> she made me wait a long, long time. Only six and a half years? Six a long and a half years. <laughs> I was ready after like one. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew, I just kind of knew, no, this right. isn't the right time but, to no. ask. Yeah. No, this isn't the right time to ask. One time I had the ring in my pocket and said, no, oh this my, isn't the right really? time to ask. And then... The long wait ended when? Well, I tried to make it easy for him. I uh, made a little greeting card that said, it had me with a mitt on my hand and said, I think I'm ready to catch the bouquet. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, but she tried to be sporty about it. I yes. tried to be sporty. So, yes. So tell us about the wedding day. Yeah. Day. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, he was a little disgruntled because the day that we had to choose because of, you know, venues and things mm -hmm. ended up being the opening day for the new, at that time, Raven Stadium in Baltimore. Oh. <laughs> that was the season ticket holder at the time. So it was, a, it was a very beautiful wedding. The thing we did that people, when people say, I remember your wedding for to us, they remember that at the end, when everything was all done, uh, we waltzed down the aisle. Like, oh, really? Oh my Aww. goodness. Aww. That's awesome. It was actually our priest's idea that we do that. Let's How see. about that? Okay. That's good. All right. So, Jill, <laughs> tell us something about Jim that most people don't know. Hmm. Thanks. Well, Let's see. He's really into um, Korean dramas and movies really? and cooking too. Ooh! So who oh. knew? We haven't seen. We see very few <laughs> American anything TV or movies. That's interesting. <laughs> How in the world did TV that happen? Shows. Yeah. Well. Life just takes some bizarre turns. I I don't know. I just ran out. And I'm like really. At some point, I'm just like really. You can watch Korean television online. I had no idea. This was like, you know, six years ago or something like that. I'm like, really? And then I started watching the show and I just and got into it. Yeah. How about that? All right. Well, now it's right. your turn. Tell us something about Jill that might surprise you. Do you remember you. the scene in, in uh, Risky Business when like the 14 year old Tom Cruise is like dancing to the Bob Seger song mm -hmm. and everybody can see him through the. Yeah. That's her and our cats. <laughs> I she, goes, clothes, she goes. She goes. She is fully clothed. That's true. <laughs> she goes sprinting after our cats this way and that throughout the day in the house. I'm literally sprinting at top speed through the house. Mm. The cats love it. Mm. Okay. Why mm -hmm. not? And I get some exercise. There, there you, you go. go. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, 26 years of marriage, right? Yep. Uh, what's the most surprising part of this marriage? Do you think? <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh boy, you hit a nerve this time. I get most surprising part. I'm sorry to say, I just want to say the boring news that she just keeps getting better and better and better every day. Aww. That's a good man right there. That's a good man. <laughs> did I, did I pass? Did I pass? I did good. All right, good, 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 good. I don't know. What, what, how do you top that, Jill? Yeah, I won't be so mushy. I'll just say that you know, we both continue to change and evolve in ways that. You know, neither of us would have expected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, for him, being here each week, you know, 10 years ago, you know, no, no, no public speaking. You would get super nervous. Really? Is that right? You know, oh, yes, my goodness. He did That's not funny. like it at all. Now, 
He loves coming on Delmarva Life every week. Oh, he's, good. <laughs> he's relaxed. Jim Duffy and Jill Jasuda. Oh, so wonderful to have you both in here together on our couch. Thank Thanks you so much. Thanks. And happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah.